Hey, welcome to Barley and Hops. I'm George. Ray let us use the store as a backdrop, and we really appreciate that, Ray. Today's video is just on a discussion about using the banjo cooker. Now, if you're a distiller and you're using um, propane, you have many, many options out there. And most of the time, we would recommend someone, especially if on their initial stages, is to use the uh, turkey fryer because they're readily available. They're very, very inexpensive. Um, but there are some other options in life. Now, if you want more, you want the maximum control possible, then that's whether you're running a still, whether you're heating up your wort, whether you're heating up your mash, whatever the case may be. This banjo cooker has a 30 PSI control valve on it, which gives you maximum control. Now, you'll notice all these holes that are in here, every one of those has a flame that comes out, it, it, it comes out of it then you can get precise control all the way down from zero up to its maximum value. Now, you know, a turkey fryer only has 135,000 BTUs. This thing's up in the multi-thousands of BTUs, so you get a lot more heat that's concentrated initially that you can adjust. You know, no more of the times when you're under there watching it, because, you know, as you watch the flame go up, the, the heat goes up, and when the flame goes down, the heat goes down. The challenge you have with a turkey fryer is it's really hard to get that fine control at the very bottom. It's a lot of times it wants to be on or halfway or off. And with a banjo cooker, you get maximum control. So in the future, if you get an opportunity, just consider getting get yourself a banjo cooker for that maximum control. So please, hey, if you get an opportunity, it's around here somewhere. Subscribe, like us, share us with your friends, and as always, happy distilling. Yeah.